Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Timber and Stone. It is the next morning. They have finished digging all this out. Everybody's slept, and they're all awake and running around like like rats in a maze. There's so many of them watching them. The next morning, t tomorrow's morning, I'll let you see them come out from their bedrooms. There's 31 or so, 30 of them, or 31, 31 of them, and it just looks like a maze of roaches going to town. <laughs> uh, but anyhow... We're going to build this house today. So, let's figure out. Well, we know the first thing is that the floors need to be done. So, we're going to do construction, flooring. And we know that I'm going to do them out of the pavestone gray. Because I just really like that for my houses. I think that really looks good. And we'll go 18 by 10 there. And then, yeah. Because we're going to play through. It's nice to finally be able to just play and record and talk and, and all that instead of it just being bits and pieces here, you know, a minute or two of today and then a few minutes of tomorrow because something happens or, or whatever else. So we're back to normal. Everything's great. Everything's looking good. We're about ready to start building the wall down this way and across, but we've still got to take this down a level, I believe. Yeah, I think we still do. We still got a little mining to do. I can tell just by looking right there at the stone. Well, no. Yeah. Yeah, we still got to go down one more so that we can turn all that into grass. Then it'll all be even. And that's been my goal the whole time is to get everything that I'm building on all flat and even. So if we do extend out further later after we've filled up all of this, which we've got quite, we've got as much to build on as we've already built. So we've got plenty of stuff. Let me, uh... Let's unpause it. Let them get to working. Heck, instead of sitting there paused. That's my big... I do that. I'm sorry. But uh, we also still need to... They're about finished here, so we're going to need to build the roof on this. As you can see, it's coming right along. Actually, it's starting to look pretty good. I didn't think I was going to like that pale brick, but it actually looks pretty good. I was kind of surprised. Now, the roof on it... I'm not 100% certain what I want to do with the roof. I think I'm going to use the new tiles because I haven't seen them. So it doesn't, well, all right, what we got to do is we got to do like so. Since we know that the tiles are going to come down one, let's let him get off since all of the building's done. They'll go start building that floor over there. Um, we can unpause it. Let's just, we'll, we'll try, and I'll try not to pause it. I'm just, I'm so used to doing so that it's really, a struggle not to well all or no we just want to mind that that's right because we got to bring it out and the reason we got to bring it out is because of when we put the roof on it has to be out one level so that it can go up and they can walk onto the roof which is fine so we are going to now go to construction and roofing and I think I want to try this ceramic tile roof I haven't seen it yet but it looks kinda well I won't say it really looks you know ceramic tiley but it's you know it's going to look like what it looks like so let's rotate it around so that we got the right angle and we need to come one out let's hold shift that's easier um i don't know i don't know if we want to come out on this one i don't know if i want an overhang actually i think i do yeah we're going to do an overhang and then we'll come all the way down like so, and we'll do one block overhang on that, just like we've been doing. All right. And now we need to do our utility and scaffolding. Whoops. And we need to do our scaffolding to match that. So I'm going to do a two bill right like that, and then we'll come up. And then I'll do two, then I'll grab there and alt shift and remove that one. Then we'll go up one more and I'll come out two and then do the same thing. Alt shift and remove that. And then we'll go up one more and I'll come out. Then I'll hold alt and shift, get rid of that. And then one more, whoops, right there. Build that, then I can hold that and hit Alt and Shift, and it should get rid of the right one, which I think it did. Looks like it did. Yeah, it did. Okay, so he'll be able to walk up there and build that, and then he'll be able to climb on top of that. So that's what I wanted. And then let's build this one out, 
and let's give them a few workspace so that they can uh so that, yeah, I think that's it. I think we did it right. Yep, there we go. Now they got a nice little platform that they can multiples of them. Now they won't get caught up on each other. I'll probably have to redo the same thing over here, but as long as they've got one, they can then access the stone, go back up, access the stone. They're, they're fine for now. Yeah, that's going to go down pretty quick. We got four builders going crazy, and we're about to set these miners. Let's go ahead and do that. Design, no, dig, mine. And basically, I'm just going to do, I'll, I can go back and do this later. Here, we'll, uh, we'll do around the road. That'll work the best. So we'll go like that, and then like this, and then we'll start doing it like so, big area. So come as far as you can. There we go. Now, some of this we don't really need to do like that. There's a little section right there. There's a section there. We don't need that. We don't need that. And um, there's a few in here that we don't need. Them. We can hold Q and hover and see what's grass, like that's grass. That's grass, because it's got grass growing on it, duh. And that right there don't need to be. That. That, and that's fine. That's fine. And most of the rest of it, about 95% of it's grass, so they'll then dig all that up. Now we can let them go, and that'll give our pickers, our, our whatever, our miners, something to do. Plus, we'll get all that ore. There's quite a bit of ore on there. So we got a lot of stuff going on. we got about four or five people mining. we got about four or five people building. we got the roof going on here, the floor going on there. We're about to start building walls and then lay down beds and all that other good stuff. We are at the point now to where all we build are the best beds. So the beds that go in here are all going to be the best ones that you can make. I have off-camera tinkered around trying to figure out how I could put more beds in this house. And then I saw one of the comments by one of the viewers who had built a cellar. So that's what we're doing right here in the corner. We're going to build a way down to go down into a cellar. And then there, we're going to put four more beds down there. <laughs> so that when we do upgrade our farmers and we need more than five, we'll have enough. We can put one bed down there for now. And then if we need, you know, another farmer or two, it won't be a problem. We can just on, we'll, we'll put a couple beds down there. We'll build four down there anyway. But we'll have those extra beds. Now, so far, these are the only beds that I've designated. The, oh, no, cancel. Ownership. Uh, assign the profession. Farmer. All right, let's go. Ownership. Assign the profession. Farmer. One of these I did, I think. Or I thought that I did. Farmer. Ownership. Yep, assign the profession. I did do it to one. I don't want it available to anyone. I want it assigned profession. Farmer. There we go. Because I only want the farmer sleeping over here. And then like over here, I can go up. And you can go to ownership. Assign the profession. Carpenter. Because the carpenter is who I want living in that house. So... So they're going. We got all the fields now. Every field that you can have. We've got carrots, potatoes, pumpkins, corn, or uh, yeah, corn, then wheat, then cotton, then flax, and then turnips. Now they're a little out of order. That that turnip should be down here with the food, but I got the turnip seeds last, so they got put in last. We are going to take the walls up eventually, not yet, but all of the walls will be this high. All the way around. So they're, they're going to go up some places, three or four, maybe five places. But I want them all the same height and flat. And we're going to replace all this too. I've just got to put scaffolding in. And you can see where I've already started preparing. I dug that line out and I need to put brick back there. 
but we were running low on dirt and having problems trying to get this all covered up. Like right now, to cover all of this with dirt that we've got dug, in order to cover that with dirt, I'm going to need a little over 7,500 dirt, and I've only got 4,300 dirt. So we still need to keep buying dirt and stuff like that. I don't know if that's... Eh. Well, I guess it's going to have to do. Because I, that's really a kind of a yeah, kind of color. I wish we had more colors for tiles. I don't think you can. I'm pretty sure you can't. But we're going to look. Roofing, ceramic tile. Now, you got some options for the walls that you can change the shade and the texture and the way that they look by using these two number buttons down here. But, yeah, for roofs, there's just one color. So I'm not going to edit it. I'll just wait until eventually there are some better colors. Uh, like I did here. This right here is just, I like it. I'm so, I hope you guys do too. But I really like the way this looks now. It really looks like a thatch roof to me. Um, as to where before with that orange, it just, it, yeah. I get what they were trying to do. The whole farmer, rusty, whatever, you know, type look. It just really didn't work out well for my eyes. It, it might be okay for you, but it just didn't work out for me. So, you know, now we got to figure out what we're going to cross member this with. I think... We need something this color for the roof, so we've got to find some blocks that are kind of this color. So let's go. We need something at least in that greenish, grayish, whatever color. Um, Let's go to walls. And let's look. Uh, maybe the castle. Nah. That might work. Yeah, that might work. If we undo this so that the texture, it just shows you the Z. What this button does is, is it adds or detracts from the connection of the blocks, the outside edge. Okay, it makes it look where you can see the hollowed out edges. It makes each block that you put together look like that. So like these, these blocks over here. See these blocks? See how they've got that outer edge to them? All right, it builds that on them if you've got that selected. If you turn that off, it does not put that on there. You just get a square block that looks like that. And that right there might be the color that we actually use. We might just use regular old castle brick for the roof. And, uh, yeah, that might work. That grayish, whatever. It's going to kind of, with the green, but it's the best that we can do right now for a tile roof. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go to, because there's really no timbered brick. Nah. And these are all plaster, mossy plaster. Umber brick. No. Pale is what we've been making them out of. And then plastered brick. Yeah, that's just a little, nah. I mean, that might do all right, but I think this, we're going to try it. We're going to turn that off, and then what we'll do is we will put, I'm thinking here, edge. So we need some coming from there. Yeah. That's where we need. So we're going to just do a little section like that, just so that we can get a look at what it's going to look like. And then I'll take and go back to roof. Where's the roof? Roof. Roof to the roofing and we will use ceramic tile and I'll turn it, oops, went too far. And we'll put it like so, so that we get it and we'll check and see what this looks like. If it doesn't look too bad, I'm hoping it don't look too bad. If it doesn't look too bad, then that's what we'll end up sticking with. That actually doesn't look too bad, to be honest with you. I mean, it doesn't look great, but it doesn't look too bad. Yeah, that might work. That might work out. Yeah, we're going to do it. What the heck? I mean, what's the worst thing? We have an ugly roof. Big deal. Okay, so let's go with ceramic roof. I keep going too far. All right, so we need one here. All right, and that'll put all that there. And then we need one here.
right there. And then oh, we're going to stop after that with the roofing because now they can get up there, no big deals. And then we're going to just build our, build our brick wall. So we've got to go with roofing, construction, construction, walls, castle brick. And that means Yeah, I just I thought that I was gonna be able to make that the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, now I gotta come in one. That's right. Remember we did that before? You go like that. And we're gonna come in two. So that means that we can leave two of them open and go up. And then we're gonna come in two. And then we can go up, up. And then we're going to come in, too. We can go up, up, up. And then we'll have a single peak at the top. That might look all right. Actually, I don't think we want that. At least I don't think I do. I think we'll do it like this. Whoops. We'll like that. Like that and have a three peak, three wide peak at the top. And then it'll come down and then over one. And then angle, over one, angle, over one, angle, angle. Yeah, okay, that'll work. So we're going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to go across. Yep, like that. And then we're going to come up too. Right, isn't that right? I'm trying to make sure I'm doing it right. Uh, yep, that's right. Okay. And then we cut in two. We go up one. And then things are just barely going to hang out. And that was my big concern. Was if them chimneys were going to hang out or not. And they are, but barely. So now we go up. Go over three. And then there's the roof. Okay. Ah! Dad gummit. I'm such a doof. You see what I did, right? I just did the whole front texture out of the wrong deal. So I've got to cancel all this real fast. Good lordy. Because this should all be done out of this pale brick. Hold Alt and Shift. Get rid of it. The front and back need to be done out of this. The top where you'll see on the roof was right. So now we have to dig all that off. We have to re-destroy all this. There we go. Stop what you're doing. And we'll let them build. They'll build this stuff anyway. So, And we can dig out this one too. The edge, this front top edge, will be white. As will the back. Or it'll be this pale brick color. All right, let's get over here now that we're done here. And we can go ahead and go to construction, walls, timbered plaster. We know exactly how big this is going to be. We can hit Alt. And it should be right there. And I'm pretty sure it was 20 by 12, right? Looks right. Edge touches, edge doesn't. Edge touches, edge doesn't. Perfect. All right, now let's figure out where we're going to put the door. I'm saying right there. That'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's right. All right. So we got an entryway. We're going to do our table and stuff over here. Food and dresser over here. And then bed, 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 bed. I think that was how we decided it. I can't remember. I'll go back and watch the other video before I dress it. But there we go. So we can go to this now. And uh, how many did we make this high? Let's uh, bring the bring this down. We can see. All right, that's where we started doing the wood. So it was this high. So it is. Wait, let's see. Go to the ground. One, two, three, four. All right? Yeah. So it's four high. Which is one, two, what, three for the door? 
One, two, three for the door, and then one above it. Okay, yeah. There, we can see it right there. One, two, three, and then the door just above it, and we're good. Okay. So four high. And hold Alt. Hold, hit Click it. And then we can take these out. And that it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It don't matter which side's the... the the smaller. All right, there's the door entry. There's the walls. Now, do we want any windows or anything? Well, that's brick wall, so, but it won't be. That will be to the road. So, let's see. I could dig them out later. It don't matter, because then I'll be able to just go like this and click them out, dig them out with the digging tool. All right, get back to work, fellas. My bad. We got a lot going on. We're going to do our herders thing. We need to do his pen. And I've already decided basically for the pen, I'm going to come from right here across with the fence. And then I'm going to take another fence right here and go across. Or probably come over to the edge of this hay and then come down even with this edge of this garden. So yeah, I'm going to come off the side of the house. Oh wait, that's what we forgot. Remember, we were going to do a back door. Three by three by one, alt shift. There's a back door. Yeah, we got to do a back door. I know we were thinking about putting a fireplace in between the two beds, but we need a door, a back door. So what we'll do is we'll probably put a fireplace on this wall. Or on this wall. One of these walls will get a fireplace. And the other will get the table and chairs. Not a big deal. Kind of like we did here. Uh, well, no, it wasn't there. It was here. How we put it, put it on the, on the back wall. Okay. We'll make it work somehow. I guess. Yeah, no, let's try this. Let's make it interesting. Yeah, this will be, be kind of cool. Let's do this. Let's go one, two, three. Let's put the door on the side. Yeah, then it doesn't interfere with anything. Now I can still put the fireplace in the back. I can put the table and chairs over there. I can have a door coming into the house here and then a door going to the side here. And we can also put one of them fence things, them little, uh, you know, to enter here, over here. And uh, I'm going to move all this stuff out. We'll probably put one here also. And then we'll come down to about here and then come across with the fence and we'll go all the way to the wall. We just won't even fence in this back wall because we'll run this this area. will be a fence coming from here to the wall. Yeah, that's going to look good. Let's go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and put that in. Let's see. I can't remember what it was. Construction, utility, fence. There we go. And then we can go from there to the edge and it's perfect. It's perfect. Looky there. And you go to objects. And you go to doors. And there's a fence gate. Which? Unpause. Alright, you gotta think. Now Ethel made a point to post out on the on the thing that it can be blocked. The fence can be blocked. I think that would be the way to do it. All right, and then let's go to design, fence. There we go. There we go. So we got fence, that, and fence. And then we're going to go, we'll do another one. Fence, gate, and fence. So it's going to be, good Lord. So it's going to be fence, then one, two, three for the gate and then fence, and the fence is going to come down like so. And I'm skipping all this stuff because I don't want to tear it all up yet. And then the fence is going to come out like so, like so. That way they got a big enough area. All right, 25, 17 by 25. All right, there's the edge. And then the other edge is going to come all the way over like this. And that... It isn't huge, but that should be more than enough room 
for that. It's about four times what they've got, maybe even more than four times what they've got. They'll have all that room to roam around in and to chill out in. That should be good. And it's right next to my farm and all that. Because I plan to run this hay all the way down because I have to get rid of all these. And we've got two, four, we got eight of them over there. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to replace it. And then I can get rid of all them because that's the goal. The goal is to slowly clear all this crap out and get rid of it all. Once we can get rid of all this, then we can start building on all this. Like all of these farms, they, they can be gone. That We don't need these anymore. Remove cotton farm. I hope that dirt will eventually regrass. I don't know if it does. I know it would suck to have to dig it up just to put grass back. But we're going to get rid of all these. And we're slowly, slowly, slowly migrating out of this area. Now, our beds are going to be here for quite a bit. I'm about to remove the town hall. Let's go ahead and uh, we're close to where we can do that. I want to get this roof done first. Once we get this ceiling finished, we're going to move the town hall into here. As you can see, I've already prepared by running the doors through or running the road through the doors. And then I'm just going to basically connect that, make all of that town hall all the way to the edge of the tables. And then our people can come in here and sit. I put some food crates down last night off camera for them. That way they can come in here and sit. They can eat. I'm going to do like a little, uh, I was thinking, you know, we're going to put the blacksmith and all that other stuff, a building like right here off the side disc, come out one so there's a one space gap. And then building like a small storage shed, like a tool shed or whatever right there. And uh, putting like, I don't know, putting like a toolbox, a resource crate, you know, that kind of stuff in it. Just so that the people that are around this side, if they need something, they can, you know, they're right in here doing something or whatever, they have that to go into. Because I don't like this having stuff like this laying around on the ground. I mean, that's all temporary. But it's time to go check and see if we've got any bad guys. Did anything spawn yet today? I'm sure something has. And seeing nothing over here, I'm guessing, oh, it's wolves. So we got three wolves there. We got a group of four wolves there. And then we got a wolf there. And then we got a spider. Got any wolves over here? Okay, so we need to take our military, and we need to go kill them wolves. Now, the wolves aren't really that big a problem anymore now that we're uber, uber badass with all of our new gear. Um, or at least the skeletons weren't. And I haven't really ever had too much difficulty with the wolves. Now, we're not going to take care of that in this episode because we're already at like 27, 28 minutes or so. But note that in the first, the the first of the next episode, that's what we'll do. So we'll keep going for the next few minutes and let them keep going because it's only, you know, afternoon. We've still got like, you know, two more, maybe three more sessions or whatever time, you know, things that we could, time slots that we can, uh, that we can get out there and get them down. So yeah, this is coming along. I'm really, really, really happy with this. I want to move all this stuff. I guess we could take, move it over a little bit, but I've got all this over here. So like this, I don't need anymore. That I can deconstruct. Uh, the toolbox... I think I can deconstruct that, too. And that'll let us finish the walls. But I don't want to close it off completely until we're, uh, until we're done. Because then that means they have to come over here, and then they have to walk all the way down to get around. I might even put in a couple gates. Whoa, yeah. That's actually a pretty good idea. I might need to put, like, a gate here. And then put a gate here. That way people can get into these from, from different angles. If they're running through or something or need to, or need to come in. If he's coming from that side, he can come in and just cut. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go to design, dig, mine. Um, no, let's go to construction. Sometimes it does that. You go to construction, and it's just blank. But if you go through again and do it again, it'll, uh, it'll usually fix it. All right, let's go to Alt-Shift. We'll get rid of that. And then uh, we'll go one, two, three, and we'll Alt-Shift that. And we'll put one there. Nah. Nah, because this is going to be hay all the way down. That was a bad idea. We'll leave. We'll put one on the end, though. Let's, uh, where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Where's it at? Tell me. Construction utility. Uh, not scaffolding. Fence. There we go. We'll put that back. Keep going. Keep building. <laughs> and he did. Good job. So we'll get that fence all done. We got an entry there. We're going to have an entry there. We're going to have an entry there. Um, the sheep and stuff don't even try to get out. That's really nice. They've done a really good job about all that now. And uh, what I'm going to do 
You know, actually, actually, yeah, actually, I think I'm going to change this just a little bit. I've already done that, so I'm going to have to destroy it. But I think what I want to do is this. I want to go like that and like that and put the gates here. Like that. And I've got that, so I just need to put a gate there. And when I put the gate there, that will automatically turn into a corner, I believe. And then we can get rid of that. Because I don't... Yeah, that's how I want it. I don't want it... Whoa, I need dig mine. Dig mine. There we go. Get rid of that. And then we can get rid of this. Get rid of this. And I can click that and deconstruct that. Yeah, that's going to look better. Because it's all going to be situational to the back side of the house. Oh, nah, wait, wait, wait. That's right. That's why I did this side. All right, well, this side's only going to come to here. It's not going to go all the way to the front. This side don't matter because it's, you know, off over here. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were probably all telling me, but what about the door? And, yeah, I wasn't listening to you. You're right. You're right. So am I. There we go. And then we can cancel this. How do you cancel? Oh, that's right. The same way you put it up. Duh. Dig mine. That's not a big deal. There we go. All right, so they'll leave that. And now we can go back to objects. And we're already, I see I was worried about going over time. I was trying not to, and we already are. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll set the, the gate to be back. Which way do we want it? We want it opening out. That way, in case any animals get standing here, they can't block the gate. The side that the, the gate swings to. So if it swings, like, towards you, the, the gate swings open towards you. That side can be blocked. If you're standing on that side, nothing can come through on the other side. They have to break the door down. Um, if it swings the other way, and then something comes up the other side, you can't get through. And I didn't know all this about doors. Um, I did read that Robert's planning on making, uh, the, making the workers, when they're walking, able to walk through themselves. You know, all walk through each other which should get rid of the door problems. Your guys, they'll open up a door, and because they'll be able to walk through each other, it'll fix the door problem, and that's a great idea. I, I like it for workers, but my problem with that is I, I think that they need to make sure that they leave it in effect for anybody that's not a construction job. In other words, like for your military. Your military should not be able to walk through each other. And that's, what, that's my only concern, is that you're going to then be able to walk your military through each other. And I don't think you should be able to. Because it's really nice and really, uh, re you know, realistic. Like you guys remember when we killed the wolves or whatever, this, you know, stuff over here on the bridge. Well, we've got a little old dinky two-wide bridge, and we had two archers blocking the bridge. And guess what? Our soldiers couldn't walk past them. They would just walk there and stand there. They couldn't walk past them. Because in real life, if you've got a person on each side of this little thin bridge, yeah, you can't come bartling through. And it was really realistic, and I like that. I like that aspect. So maybe, you know, I think, and I think that may be the intent. I hope that's the intent, is that it'll allow people working, doing jobs and construction jobs to walk through doors past each other. But, you know, when you're out here with soldiers, you can't. And I hope that's what they go for. But anyhow, we're over on time. And uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. Hope you like this. I hope that, you know, sorry about the last couple of episodes. They, uh, you know, I'm, they're, pro they're probably okay. I'm sure I edit them to where they, uh, to where they fit together nicely and they probably weren't too bad to watch. It just, it's been heck for me because that's, that's been over a two day period of filming uh, because, you know, it was just, it took, good Lord, I think I spent like seven hours just terraforming all of this down and I'm still not quite done. I mean, it took a long time to do that. Um, but you guys are worth it. So, and so are my, it's my village. All right. I'll see you in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please like comment, subscribe and have a great day.